Hello students, in this video we are going to study what is the statistical investigation. In the previous videos we studied what is statistics, how it is works, when we use statistics, all these things. So different statistics we are going to learn how what is known by investigation. So today I am going to explain statistical investigation, its steps, its stages and what is the basic concepts in the investigation. So the first thing is statistical investigation, a study of characteristic of units of a population by using statistical devices and techniques is called statistical investigation or statistical survey. For example, study of wage structure of the workers, factory workers, enquiry of the number of children per couple of a certain locality etc. Statistical investigation is broadly divided into two stages that is planning and preparation of survey, execution of survey. So now the question is planning and preparation. What do you mean by planning and preparation? For the success of any statistical enquiry, a perfect planning and preparation is essential. In this stage, the factors affected are object of an enquiry, scope of the enquiry, units used for collection and measurement, sources of data, method of collection of data, framing a format, accuracy level, types of enquiry. Here, in the case of planning and preparation, we consider first object of the survey, what is going to be done, what is going to be concluded. Scope of the survey, how the reliability and value, validity of the data, which data is better, how it is collected, how it is measured, what is the sources of data, method of collection, what is better method for collection. Framing of format, you can by using how to collect the data by using questionnaire method and all these things. How to prepare a questionnaire, accuracy level, what is the uh, level of the uh, data, accuracy level of the data, the types of inquiry, how we can go to enquire the data. So next step, after immediate planning and preparation, the next stage is the execution. By proper planning, we can execute the planning. So the various steps to be considered are as follows. First, we select or setting a team of administrators, designing of questionnaire, selection and training of enumerators, field work by enumerators and supervision, follow-up work in the case of non-response, analysis of collected data, preparation of final report. These are the factors comes under the execution of the survey. How to uh, setting the administrators, how to select the uh, enumerators, how to give the uh, training for the enumerators, field work, enumerators and su supervisions and follow up work in the case of non-response. What is the alternative methods, analysis of collected data, preparation of final report. So, the for the investigation, statistical investigation, the basic concepts are collection of data, organization of data, summarize data and display the data, last one is analyze of data. The organization of data, summarize and display of data, analysis of data are explained in the some other videos. It is the how to prepare the data in an easy way when we collect data from the field by vast voluminous data is collected from the field. So, now I am going to explain collection of data. First step concept, collection of data. The first step of statistical inquiry is to collect the, collect, sorry, the first step of statistical inquiry is to collect facts and figures relating to a particular survey, whether the inquiry is of business, economics or social sciences. Collection of data is the process of enumeration together with the proper recording of results. The success of an inquiry is based upon the proper collection of data. For the investigation, there are some objects which are comes under the investigation. There are some persons who related to 
conduct the survey. The concept is investigator. Who is the investigator? Investigator is the person who conducts the statistical inquiry. Enumerator. Enumerator is the person who collects the information for the investigator. Respondents or informants is the person from whom the information will be collected. So, next in the under the collection of data, there are several types of data. Here, under collection there are two data, under analysis there are two data. The first under collection there are primary data and secondary data. Under analysis there are time series data and cross sectional data. So, in the case of types of data, there are four types, totally there are four types. It is primary data, secondary data and time series data and cross sectional data. Here we consider primary data. It is also called as the first hand data. Data which are collected for the first time directly from the field by the investigator is called primary data. They are original in nature. It is a fresh hand data. For example, if an individual or an office collects the data to study a particular problem directly from the field or in an investigator collects information regarding births and deaths directly from the people, the data are primary data. So, primary data are costly, their collection consumptions more time and labor than the collection of secondary data, especially than the population in vast. So, method of collection of primary data are direct observation method, indirect oral interview method, information through agencies, method of questionnaire and schedules sent through enumerators. So, next data type is secondary data. Secondary data is the data which has been already collected and analyzed by enumerators. They are the data which he borrows from other others who have collected them for some other purpose. Collection of secondary data consumes less time and labor than collection of primary data. At the time of collection of secondary data, reliability of the source and validity of the data should be verified. For example, if an investigator collects the required data of births and deaths from the city corporation office records. So, there are two types of sources for secondary data. It is published source and unpublished source. In case of published source, there are official publications of international bodies such as IMF, IBD, UNO, etc. Official publications of central and state governments, journals, newspapers and periodicals, websites of various organizations on the internet. These are the published sources. Unpublished sources are records maintained at government offices, municipal offices, etc. Records maintained by research institutions, research scholars, etc. So, here in this video, I, will, I would like to conclude that the for the statistical investigation, collection of data is the main purpose. So, in the primary data and secondary data, for the primary data, we can uh, frame in the questionnaire. Questionnaire have to be in the proper way in short questions and give the broad details of our study for the informants. So, these are the topics included in the investigation. Thank you.